G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more of Orion. Uh, uh, With Capac? Question mark? I mean, As he goes, uh, 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 during the intro? Uh, looks like I don't have an image capture set up for Orion. Oh, it's delightful. Been a while since I played it on this PC. <laughs> delightful. Um,. So, last time, Kapak and I said we were going to build a ship, but we ended up spending the whole time collecting a whole bunch of Zanyan, which we now have a lot of, and hopefully enough Zanyan and money for us both to build a new ship. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy a ship. And start from Zanyan. And uh, do you want to? Do we want to build from a rando ship or from a custom ship? Start from a single block. Uh, I was gonna start from scratch, I guess. Alrighty, single block. Oh, thanks for gift subs, Des. Uh, and thanks, Krizil, for the sub before we even started. I don't know uh, the name for this thing yet. Don't show this again. I'm just going to give it this name for now because I have an idea on the shape. Oh, music's up real loud. Get out of here, music. No, it's not death time. It's build a ship time. Uh... Build a ship. Yeah. Mine uh, should have popped out now, wherever it is. Single it? block. There it is. Make out of Zanyan. Yep. Uh, the name. What am I going to call this thing? Hmm. Well, you'll probably change the name once you've designed it, I imagine, wouldn't you? Oh, Zanyan doesn't have armor, so we're gonna have to use Trinium armor. Okay. No, oh, that's annoying. Uh, I want to try and build some sort of carrier type vessel. Uh, Zanyan. Let's start with crew quarters. Uh, ship. Wait, do I want to hire crew? Um, it doesn't really matter if you start from a single block because you still don't get any crew because you only get as much crew as the ship that you place in the game requires. So if you built one of the random ones and then demolished it all, you'd have the crew. But so it just doesn't it doesn't matter. All right, single block. Um, Capac, I didn't notice anything from the Victorian earthquake stuff. Did you? Uh, no. Where? Wait, where's my ship gone? Um, we need generators. Oh, there it is. Wait, no, that's your ship. Just look around for the ship things. Sh yours will be there somewhere. Uh... I need to symmetry mode this thing. Well, I'm not seeing them. Is as it placed yet? Because it doesn't place immediately. Oh, hold on. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. Uh, Build. Alright, I got a tiny space cube. Yeah. <laughs> so you said before, just before we went live, that you had an idea of what you were going to make? Yep. Shape-wise, what's the concept you've got in mind? Uh, I'm going to make a battleship. As in a ship-looking ship? Yep. So we're going World War II on them. Something like that. Alright, so I want some of these Zenyons. Uh... 
Oh no! What? Uh, I forgot to edit my stream info. <laughs> Good job. So what are you what are you streaming then? <laughs> Legend of Grimrock. Ah oh, right, from last night. There uh, we go. My the shape of my ship's gonna get more interesting Oops. after I've placed down the core stuff. I hope. And I don't even know where to begin. I guess I need integrity field generator. Yeah, you will. Hey, thanks, Moosey. Also, I've been meaning to ask you, is it Moose eh? Or is it Moose A? Or is it Moose? Or is it just moose? Is it more like Musa? Okay. So What's the transporter do? Was it interact with stations over a higher distance? Ah. Are people saying that we could put thrusters under armor? Yes. Hey, thanks, old bacon eater. But can we put engines under armor as well? Don't know about engines. But you cannot put hangers under armor. I know that much. Or at least okay. you couldn't before. Pirates are attacking the sector. <laughs> People think your name is Moosh. I can see how they get to Moosh, but it's quite clearly not Moosh. Uh, is that my ship? The pirates. Oh. Dealt with. I guess all of the. All of the functional blocks I want to make out of Zenyan. Yeah, basically anything but armor, try and make out of Zenyan. Actually, what capacity do I have for fighters in this thing? Hang Where's on. my symmetry? How do I see that info? Torpedo space. Uh, Wait. Oh, hangar no. space. 20. No, I've done everything sideways. 20 a lot? Is 20 not a lot? Do I want bigger hangers? Rotate whole ship. Engines uh, and thrusters are best made out of your lightest material, i.e. trinium. Their effectiveness is only determined by size, so lighter materials are superior. Where do we prove that okay. to ourselves? There we go. Twenty fight is going to be enough. It might be. I'm planning on having this thing still have tons of guns. Tons of guns. You can use hologram blocks to ah oh, use hologram blocks to change the color of the thruster. Interesting. I've never spent as much time decorating ships in Avorian as I would have liked to. It does take a long time to design things right, and that really needs to go away. Uh, Xander, I think Splitsy's keeping an eye on my chat as well, so he's aware. I do read Kavak's chat sometimes more than he does. That's true. <laughs> you know it's true if we agree on something that quickly. <laughs> Engines at the back. Uh, oh, I need fighters. Fighter assembly area. So my my ship design is going to be a bit like a. Well, I'm going to go 
Aim for a bit of a scorpion shape. Tail and claws and all. I don't think my engines look like propellers. Mm -hmm. Uh, lots of time. I think. Oh, I need cargo. Yeah. Wait. Don't want match shape. How much space have I got now? Cargo hold 173. I've got a thousand on my other ship, but I can scale this thing up because I've. Oh, I maybe right. can. Okay. Uh. Huh. Uh, we probably should have set up a squad stream. That's oh, probably something yeah. we should have done. Uh. Do you want me to just do that now? Yeah. Oh, um, just managed to get through to the stream menu thing before I started getting someone else's stream playing. There you go. Invite sent. You need to accept my squad stream. Okie dokie. Accepted. There we go. Now that'll help all the mobile peoples. Uh, Ooh, Zanyan cloning pods. I can create my army of capax. Assembly Meat shields. What, what is assembly? Ah, uh, that's for making assembly fighters. Line. Yeah. Academy makes it possible to send crew members to train them. Yep. Jazz, you know why I'd want an army of capax. Because <laughs> if you're going to have your army die, it may as well be ones that groan in my funny ways when they do. Increases the hyperspace jump distance. Uh, no, I don't want processing core. I don't need that. Running pod, solar panel, light. Uh, what's my crew capacity at? Crew quarters 19. Oof. I need more crew quarters. Oh, reduces acceleration. That doesn't seem good. <laughs> um, yeah, that. So, yes, this is meant to be my carrier ship. That's why I've... Although maybe I didn't build a big enough hangar. I could maybe put another hangar in the top of the tail of the Scorpion. That could be kind of cool, having them fire out of it. Having them launch out of it would be cool. Jazz is hurrying you up, Kabak. What? How rude. Alright, so we're making armor out of trinium? Yeah, that would be my recommendation. Uh, where's the armor? There we go. Over, oh no, that's, that's kind of sticking out a bit. Chunky engines. Q. 
Yes. <laughs> this thing's still going to be slow as a bus. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, Tex, other people have said similar things that this looks homeworldish. <laughs> Navarin just said, so yesterday someone online was like, have I heard Splitzy mention your name before, Navarin? <laughs> Possibly once or twice. Yes, maybe once or twice. Like, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for setting you on fire! Yep, that's definitely something that could have happened at some point. Maybe once or twice. I did say sorry! Everyone was just too busy blaming me and getting angry at me that they didn't hear me say it. Uh, how am I going to do this grunty bit? How this tail is going to look. I think we have to have a couple of cracks at this. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Chriswalt. Ah, uh, yeah, that's moderately accurate. Now, <laughs> can't build my enemies nearby. Oh, go back. Uh, yeah, pirates are attacking, I guess. Nope. Whoa! Gah! I'm close. under attack! Uh, Can't find my break! Where's my break? One ship down. Bring guns to bear. Fire! Oh yeah. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Now we can get back to building. Uh, did your... Is that your new ship to take damage? Yeah, it got hit in the shields and took some other damage as well. Oof. Indeed. Oh. Wow, that uh, enemy ship blew up real close to my new ship. <laughs> Set old ship to patrol. Oh, wait, hang on. Can I do. Oh, it doesn't have a captain. No, that's the wrong ship. Uh, break. Take enemies, travel, this needs scout, to be. Oh. Like that? Control sector. might need something in here to... Tex apparently discovered that it's possible to kill someone in Valheim by building a fire under them, but they remain warm for the rest of their lives. Yep. Interesting. Uh, 
I suppose I can put some thrusters in here. Oh wait, directional thrusters was more useful, weren't they? Now obviously this is going to have an armor skin, so I'm just roughing out the shape at the moment. Yes, as the saying goes, give a man a fire and he's warm for the night. Set a man on fire and he's warm for the rest of his life. Hmm. That looks... Yeah. Like something? some serious armor shaping to get this to look interesting and bright. Spiky boys on the front make it look a bit more vicious. Uh, direction. You're still going a sniper build, Kapak? Uh, yep. I wish I could see your build vaguely in the background, but it's really hard to spot from here. I can just see what looks like a, um, log. A grey hey, log. Hey, don't call my ship a log. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Oh, well, I might go for some twin engines. I thought I'd just get in the, um cheeky comments since you're undoubtedly going to make some about mine when you see it. So I had to get mine in first. Fix that with some. Oh, wait, the thrusters shouldn't be near the middle. They need to be near the out. The turning. Dang it. Dang, dang, dang. Some of these little bits. Oh, wrong mirror. Oh, hold on, that's the wrong kind of bit. Need those bits. There we go. Oh, I'm struggling to imagine what's going on with your build right now. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard. There's. Do there's something to be said about the challenge of having too many options. 
Oh, what's a gyro array? It allows you to spinny spin. Increases rotational speed. Hmm. Guess a bit of that might be handy. I've been trying to build gyro arrays on most of my ships. You do need them in all three orientations, though. If you want them to be helpful in all three orientations. Oh, they've got different mm -hmm. directions. They do indeed. Uh, how do you see which direction it's oriented? It's the direction of the arrows when they're being placed. Oh, I see. Yep. Okay, I need to get red. There we go. Thruster legs. I don't know if I'm going to do legs, because legs will make it quite difficult to armor up in a way that's well protected. Um. Let's just have a look at the stats. So we've got cargo hold 259.9, hangar space 27.9, crew quarters 70. Um, acceleration 55. I don't really know what how this compares. Might try and get some more shield gen on though. There you go, one of each direction. And make sure you got your integrity field generators covering every part of your ship as well, Kato. Uh, how do you tell? When you try and place one down, it'll highlight the parts that are covered. Oh yeah, looks like the whole thing's covered. I might put some extra in this gap in the nose cone here. You may want to do some hyperspace core too. Yeah, I have. Okay. What's your um what's your hyperspace reach? Uh I don't know. How do I It's kind see? of in the middle of the ship stats, which is in I. That is hangar space uh, for like five fighters. Four, oh. four point one. Okay. My ship's gonna be slower that, than that yours, means... and it's got a reach of six point six. Hmm. That is hangar space for like five fighters. I need more fighter space. Do I? Maybe I get rid of. Yeah, that's... Uh, I'm sure that'll do. Now I need my decking. This is going to give me a bit more hangar space. Fellas, all right. How much does hangar space is that compared to before? Hangar space ninety two. That's a bit more like it. Ah, uh, no, Nab. Oh wait, are you talking to us, Nab, about being space engineered out? Because I, I will be hopefully recording later tonight more of my survival impossible stuff. And we're still going with uh, the co-op stuff with Kanajashi as well. And uh, now I need this way. 
Oh dear. Um, come back. We might be running out of Zanyan. Uh, it's a possibility. I've, I think I've done most of the Zanyan that I need, though. Yeah? I'm mostly doing armor now. Okay, cool. Sandman, all of the um, playlists for all of our series are all on my main channel. If you go to the channel page and then click on playlists, they're all there. Oh, thanks for our cheers, WCX Ghost. Um, how big's my academy? How can I tell? All right. Um... I need some crew quarters. All right. I might... Nearly too yellow. That's all... Roll is pretty good. Pitch up and down is not great. I have no idea how much crew I'm going to need for this thing. Yeah, I never know either. I've got space for 70, but I've got no idea whether that's too much or too little. That's a bit more matched. Oh no, it's off center. What a tragedy. You live with yourself, Kavak. It's difficult. Ah, <laughs> uh, Broke, I haven't tested out the new Drop Pod Raiders. I'm hoping to set something up so Kavak and I can mess around with them maybe next week. But I haven't tested them out yet. But I'm interested, and I think Capac will really like them too. So the Drop Pod Raiders Capac are the new uh, AI-enabled actual characters in Space Engineers who will shoot back at you. Ah. Which I had a feeling if we if I set something up, you'd be pretty keen to check out with me. Oh yeah. Do we need to armor crew quarters? You kind of want to armor everything if you can. Because then the armor takes the brunt of any fire that comes through. Rather than your ships. Hey, thanks, Shadow Wolf. Maybe I should just make a big chunk of crew quarters and then armor around it. You can't. You can't, Xander. That's not possible. Uh, how am I going to do this armor so it looks interesting without making it look super chunky and horrible? Yes, I am building a scorpion. Thought it'd be a fun shape for a carrier. Uh oh, more pirates. Yep. I've set out two ships to patrol so the sector, so hopefully they'll actually shoot them for us. We can just kind of chill here, keep building. What? No, no cargo bait. I want armor. Xander, as I said, you cannot get to the server for Escape from Purgatory. It does not exist anymore. And it was never possible for Xbox players anyway. some hollow space would be good because then I've got room to add extra stuff in at the end. Mm. 
So, there's been something I've been trying to articulate well during these streams, but failing dismally. And that is what happens when you use small armor blocks. It seems like the smaller the armor block you use, the more likely it is to get shot off. Um, and there's something that allows you to merge blocks, I thought. And I was wondering whether anyone in chat knows if that has an impact on how easily that block gets shot off. Yeah, I was just wondering if, like, if I make a block that's really long, does that mean it's just more susceptible to being hit in the front and then it'll get blown off the back? Well, no. See, a block that's really long has lots and lots of hit points, so it's less likely to get shot off full stop. Because it'll take more hits for that block to actually get destroyed. Ah. Uh -huh. Um, so that's why with my Breek, I did so many big blocks of armor around it and why it was so effective once it got down to armor, because it could just take lots of hits, because the armor was all strong, and I didn't need to replace much after a battle. No, I'm not talking about bonus hit points. I'm talking about combining the hit points of these two blocks, for example, and therefore it takes the destruction of all of the hit points of both blocks for those that block to get destroyed, rather than just the hit points of this tiny little piece on top. Um... So, yes, it should work this way. So once I've put all the armor down, I'll just merge as many of the blocks together as I can. Cool. And Capac should probably do the same. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So what Demonworks said is a nice way of putting it. Two 2,000 hit point blocks are more likely to get des destroyed than one 4,000 hit point block. So you want that one big block. Okay. Uh, use the select tool and merge. All right. So. Yeah. So once I once I place more of the armor, I'll I'll do merges. Now how can you tell what you can merge and what you can't merge? What they're saying is you can only merge blocks of the same type, so you can merge your armor blocks together. So I can merge like every armor block? Possibly. I don't know. We'll have to find out. But you should merge as many as you can. Because the more you merge, the more safe your build is. So how do I merge? Merge selected blocks. Let me know if you run into any things that you can't, that won't let you merge, can't? Because that'd be nice to know. Merge fifty-seven blocks to fifty-six blocks. What? <laughs> so not very um, much. Was able to merge then? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, I have no idea what actually happen there. Alright, what if I just do like... Oh, not working. Where's my autopilot working? Uh, okay, looks like I don't have enough energy generation.
Ah, uh, that's, that's not gonna work. Getting a bit of a skin going. Yeah, this one. Yeah, it's right. um. Uh, select blocks. Let's see what happens. When I select, say those. Uh, where's the merge? Merge selected blocks. Wait, what? I thought they selected a few blocks. Why did that say merged 120 blocks to 119 blocks? It does seem a little weird. I will let you figure it out. Hmm. Uh, so how do I deselect blocks? Interesting. All right, let's start with something simple. That, that, plus that. Merge selected blocks. So now I want... Merged 119 more. blocks to 118 blocks. Whoa. I want turret rotation locks. I want turret bases. Oh, so the merging kind of doesn't do, won't do anything useful for making a ship that's meant to look pretty. Well, that's disappointing. It means I'm going to lose tons of armor all the time. Might try and shove some big chunks of armor block under here. Ah, what the... There you go. There's slightly fewer blocks in this thing now. No, oh, whatever. I'm making it with the armor pretty, because whatever. I want it. It's much harder in 2.0 to get impenetrable shields. Um, it seems. They've nerfed shields compared to the old, the way things used to be. He's not in the center. This we go. Okay. Where's the best place to put this? Maybe along here? Yeah, Mastermind, that's what I was thinking. The brick probably is set up in a way that it would get even more strength, but something that's trying to look interesting isn't going to gain much. Uh. Oh, hold on. How much shield hit point have I gotten? Shield, 76,000 hit points. I kind of want to see what the Breek has. Where is it? Shield, 
shield. 217,000 hit points, but... Oh, that doesn't seem right. That is because of... Is there a way to rotate the text on the name block? I don't know. What if you rotate the name block? Then the, the name is still in it. the same orientation. Oh. Is this because you built your ship in the wrong orientation? No, it's because I want to make the name on a like a wedge block, but I can't put it on the right face in the right with the text aligned the right way. Oh. Dang. That sucks. Uh, 71,000 from that. Hey, D. So it's got like a base of four, 46,000 shield. All right. Oh yeah, that'll do. So 46,000 compared to 76,000. So this has another 30,000 hit points of shield, which it's a bit, but it's not a huge amount. Maybe when this thing's uh, scaled up, I can, I'll be fine. <laughs> Textfire, the MSG of streaming. <laughs> Text, that's a brilliant description. <laughs> I like it. Ah, uh, yes. Well played, Valinarius. That is true. Shaq is nobody's wingman. It is beneath him. Well punned. You just said okay a lot. Yeah. Um. When I, when I read Shaq, no, Shaq is no one's wingman, it's beneath him. That's because the wing is beneath him, even though it shouldn't be. Because it was an extra part. I think this is pretty much done. Yeah, this is what I thought would happen. I'd have most of my ship functional stuff laid out before you, but my armor would take heaps longer. And then I'd have to rush some of the parts of the armor and be unhappy with my result.
Uh, all right. So now I just need. We need crew, and then uh, at some point we'll have to scale up our ships to the correct scale. But I think yeah. we're going to need a lot more Zanyan before we can do that. I'll need to get, like, weapons and things set up too. Yep. That's not blocking. Make it all the way over here. That might be blocking. spent enough time with hangers to know exactly what I'm doing here. Did I float away from the station? Oh, enemies. You might have gotten knocked away from it. During one of the little battles. You got the enemies handled? Yeah. Oh, you're shooting me. Well, they're done. Uh. Alright. Oh, no, I took damage. <laughs> Erg. Did you go take control of your other ship? Is that what you did? No, but it got damaged in the crossfire. Oh. But she flies. Good, good. Ship is weak. Needs mechanics, engineers, and guns. Oh, oh, that's not good. What? It says I need more braking thrust. Oh, now they've added all the armor. That's not a great thing to learn after I've finished the design. <laughs> it's not ideal, no. Yeah. Uh, all right. If I go directional thrusters, Get rid of that armor. How am I going to make this look like I want it to? Also, I really wish I knew more of these camera commands because there's something that's supposed to allow you to free move the camera and I can't remember seeing the actual command anywhere. What the keyboard shortcut is or such. Now we're seeing why I haven't done many pretty designs in Avorian. Because <laughs> it's just hard. It's so time consuming. Uh, 
Not that what I'm building is necessarily going to be pretty, but I'm trying to make it that way. to make a claw. Oh, um, so something I was meaning to mention during the stream, which just popped into mind, is that I am briefly on leave from my day job. So I'm going to have more time to get on top of some things, hopefully, in the coming weeks. My goals... Oh, uh, hold shift and it'll match the block that you're joining it to. That's handy to know. Or hold control and it'll match to the face that you're joining it to. Uh. Um, so I've got sort of two loose goals to achieve during this time. And I'm hoping I get at least one of them done. I'm not anticipating getting both, but you know, it could be nice. Uh, the two loose goals are... Sort and clean my LEGO collection so that I can do... Le and set up the LEGO streams again. Or... Uh, getting assertive cargo... assertive combat systems done. Getting it properly ready for release. Yeah, don't, I definitely don't have time for that, Nab. <laughs> Much as I would like to. Because that also requires uh, Mr. Amaru having plenty of time on his hands too. Uh, all right, that. Indeed, that. Wait, is this the right kind of gun? No, oh, that's salvages. No, no, it's diggers. Can I mine Zanyan? Do you have any Zanyan miners? Do we have any? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Thought we wouldn't. This is a very rough shape. I was really happy with how this shape came together, the top and bottom part. These side bits are getting a bit too chunky and weird. Ah, uh, but yeah, though, those are my, sort of my two things I would really love to get done during this time because they're the sort of thing that I'm just never going to get time to do otherwise at least not to a level that I'm happy with and it would be really nice to have those projects kind of done Why does my salvaging laser keep not firing? Is it not in the selected group? I'm like I'm trying to salvage this ship and sometimes it'll work and sometimes it won't. Overheating or... Like that? I don't think I've seen one that overheats though. Why is this not working? 
It'll work for a second and then it stops. <laughs> Escape from Purgatory ends with the crew jumping and ending up beside Vanguard and Tex loving the name of their ship. Hmm. I feel like if we I'll run into up. the Vanguard, more likely it'd be that um, Waster would start claiming that we stole his ship colours. Current is aiming through the ship. And Kapak claiming that Waster stole his suit colours. Well, he did. Oh, is it like not getting through the big guns? Yeah, this this thing can get some upgrades over time, I think. That will be the plan. If I can just get some sort of armor skin that's vaguely usable. It should have lots of clearance down there. It's so hard to navigate. Yeah. It is a bit of a menu battle, isn't it, sometimes? stuff. No, wait, that's wrong. Dang it. Ugh. Anyone got any tricks on how to do this stuff easier? I've been trying to come up with stuff, but I haven't come up with anything good. I think part of the key to getting this sort of armor shaping to work in Avorian is to start at one end and then work your way down rather than starting in the middle or starting multiple spots which means I dread trying to join these segments that I've done together why won't my chip angle up enough enough for what? So that I can use my stupid salvaging laser. Oh, did you... Is your front targeting bit in its dead zone? I suppose um, there is the possibility that if there was ever a run-in between the Vanguard crew and Kapak, myself, and Kanajashi that they think we're the police. Oh, I don't have a Zanyan block on this thing. Oh, yeah, you need to have the Zanyan external block for the turrets. Forgot about that. Just make a Zanyan mount thing somewhere. Uh, oh, but well that's not good because I can't make Zanyan armor. Nope. You'll have to do that's Zanyan quite... hull. That's, that's probably little... the strongest by hit points. And you want it to be a fairly large block so that it doesn't get easily destroyed and you lose all your turrets. No, it's just for a salvaging turret. Yeah, but you're going to need it for your other turrets. 
once you're fitting your guns. Of crew members for all mining turrets. Get them off the other guns then and put them in this one. Oh, I know what I should have done. That would have been so much easier. Should have tried to model this off the Prometheus from start from SG1. I can't be bothered. This is too much work. So that's a nice blocky shape that would have been relatively easy to achieve, I think. Hold Alt and place the crosshair below your ship so the guns aim down. Yeah. It's too much work. Um, is there anywhere nearby... Yeah, from under the desk. You're not allowed oh, over there. We're way out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we need to find an equipment yeah. shoppy. What do you need from the equipment shop? Well, we're going to need more modules and stuff for this ship, so I'm going to have a, a peru. little s scout around through the gates and see if I can find any. Seems like a reasonable course of action. under my desk dog uh all right hang on a sec i'll be back in a sec <laughs> and chat pirates Tangled on my desk. Oh, these pirates are pretty tough. Are you having some trouble? Nope. And how are they tough? Because they're tougher than the last ones I fought. Oh. Guess that makes a degree of sense. Right, no equipment here. So I keep heading south. Oh, yeah, that's north. This is gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to cheese some bits like this, I think, because I don't have the time to do this perfectly. I don't wanna spend six oh. hours building this thing. Oof. Um that could have gone better. What are you offing? <laughs> And I bumped into the Stargate as I went through it and kind of knocked it off course. Uh, how much faction standing with do we lose for that? Uh, I don't think we lost any. I don't see it. Oh, a bunch of tiny little wee ships here. Tiny little wee ships. Yep. Uh huh. Still no equipment. Alright, I'll head southeast. Oh, that might block might be too long. Oh, it is. Dang it. We're just going to kind of do the best I can do quickly here, I think. Which means doing something like this. And there'll be a few little angular pieces around the place, but that can kind of look interesting. 
if I can continue those lines through, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. Alright. Uh, I head back the way I came. Yeah. See what happened to that spinning gate when I come back through it. Hmm. Hopefully it won't spin around and smack into my ship and blow me up the second I come through. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not. That would not be ideal. This is your favourite time in playing games like this with me, isn't it, Kavak? Just goofing around, flying through space. Waiting for me to finish doing something. Try to build a thing. No, I meant the waiting. Yep, just like these loading screens. And I, I wasn't entirely being facetious, because you sometimes do like itself. the waiting means you uh, don't have me bothering you. Let's see, that's probably... There, let's take a shortcut. I hear that inside the barrier, the Zotan eat up entire planets. Coming together. It's coming together. We're getting more sides covered. Ugh. Nothing. I'm gonna need to have put some interesting decorative bits on this, I think, like some neons and stuff. gonna be interesting to it's gonna be hilarious when I finish this ship only to find it's as maneuverable as a pregnant yak <sighs> I'm aware it's gonna be very very poorly maneuverable uh, hey, pregnant yaks can be pretty nimble <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming you know this from chasing a pregnant yak in the past well, I can safely say that in my entire life I've never caught a pregnant yak, so they must be pretty good at getting away. <laughs> Ooh, an explosive charge factory. That sounds like fun. Hmm. Capac and an explosives factory. That sounds like a... Disaster in the most spectacular of ways. Sounds like a teen mystery novel. <laughs> yeah, that too. Does sound like that? Resource depot, trading post. Let's strike out east. Immortal system alpha. Oh, that's just where you can pay to salvage ships, isn't it? Yep. Oh no, Zed fighting! Ew! I don't have Zed fighting. 
Oh no! Oh no! Eh? Ah. Resource depot, repair docks, trading posts. Oh, these little ships all have to quickly move to get out of my way. Because I am gigantic. Fly! Uh, do I want to head over there? Or I keep heading south? Ah. Uh. You sound like you're struggling a bit over there. Yeah, I am. Uh. My my fleet's under attack. Oh. I'm trying to get it out of the system that's being attacked in. Whoa, that was close. No! No! Oh. never see a hippopotamus hiding in trees yeah i put mm. heaps of defenses on my miners i even had a ship specifically there to defend my miners and they were just idle too long while i was building and i forgot to set them off to do stuff so they were just sitting there getting slammed by pirates and that ship's dead southeast gate North gate. Where's the west gate? Is that it? Uh, uh. Here. West gate. Ah. Uh. Yep. True facts, Sloan. Hmm. Right. That should be fine now. Uh... You're stretching it, Laws. You're stretching it. Uh, able to explain the game. Avorian is a space ship building game where you can do a huge amount of stuff. Like, you've got strategy level stuff, you've got individual ship level stuff. Um kind of combines a whole lot of different genres in one. Best summary I think of it in most situations is it is single player or small group co-op EVE online where you can actually build your own ships. Can you think of a better way to describe it, Kamek? Um, You're sometimes better at articulating these things than I. It's like a... Oh dear. Oh. 
uh, like an open world space sandbox, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah, it is sandboxy because you can pretty much do anything. Like, you can do it the way that you want to do it. You can operate your own stations, you can have your own fleets and everything. It's quite flexible. Still nothing. Southgate to Avorion Gods 2. Uh -huh. Somebody thinks highly of themselves. country I'm so gonna end up with tiny little gaps in my armor I think Yeah, there's, yeah, Colo Weaver, the, it's, you can play just the story stuff, you can play just, like, there's a degree of, you need to do some of the mission-y stuff, or some of the, you have to do some of the fighting. Oh, actually, no, you probably could trade your way up to the right standing levels to get the unlocks, I think. Yeah, because, like, buying and selling, like, mm. or gets you standing so so you could do it as a minor so you could play a pure pacifist if you really wanted to don't see any claimable asteroids oh Kavak I so wish I could get you to help me finish this thing I'm at that point where I kind of just want to shoot things again I realize as soon as I've got this thing ready and built, I also have to then figure out how to uh, use fighters because I have no idea what I'm doing with it. Yeah, and get everything properly equipped. Mm hmm. What are you going to do with your old ship? Uh, well, at one, th I thought we'd use them to escort our mining fleet. Use our two old ships, because then if the mining fleet gets attacked, we can just jump into our old ships and have a pretty light, pretty good chance of defending it. Defending them. Pirates are attacking the sector.
I can probably do the same as above there. Oops. And we've got nothing. Oh yeah. Oh, are you still? Are you just out there searching for fancy asteroids? No uh, equipment. Ah. Oh. Still looking for that. places. Yeah. I haven't found anything. Are you looking in new systems or existing systems that we know about? I've just been looking through the gate network. Because if you know, you can search the map for equipment stations. Yeah, but we're in an unexplored area. Yeah, that's why I was asking whether you were exploring new ones or going to old ones. All new. This was something that I was trying to avoid doing entirely on stream. But I'm kind of glad I've shown it, because if anyone's interested in the game, they at least know the time it can take to get something that looks like what you want. And if you're willing to put that effort in, you can get some incredible ships. Um, but it is quite time consuming to get something that really looks like what you've got in your head but unlike so many other space ship building games you actually can in this I think achieve a look that is what's in your head if you've got the time to do it oh the galactic is a tiny part of it thunder ships like I've seen almost perfect replicas of Galente ships from Eve which are all curves and just the amount of time it takes as you can see here to build something that's even vaguely curvy is considerable That is a block off. In some ways, this is why I don't want <laughs> space engineers to ever have this sort of freedom. Because I would never get anything finished. Ever. Too much power. Too much responsibility. Yeah, exactly, Tex. The workshop ships, you can just import and print, and it's uh, very cool. Then also a way to get this sort of, like, that sort of level of stuff without having to put the effort in yourself. Although, for me, I like building my own stuff. As many of you would be aware. Like, if you're someone who just wants to build uh, Borg cubes or other very simple shapes, you can either just take stuff from the workshop then, or take one of the randomly generated ships. Because then you're not missing out on any part of the game that you'd be enjoying anyway by taking workshop ones. Let's see, what have we got over here? Hmm. Hmm? I see.
Is that a hanger you've put on the tip of the scorpion tail? Oh, is that you that just shadowed over me? Yep. You've built a tugboat. Oi! <laughs> no, it looks like no. a tugboat because it doesn't have any guns on it yet. <laughs> no, I like it. Um, yeah, so I've got two hangers. One in the tail and one in the core of the ship. That one in the tail's got to be tiny, though. Yeah, but it's there for more for looks than anything else, isn't it? Let's be brutally honest about it. I guess I could put on some demo guns. Arg. <laughs> Splits his scorpion and Capax barb toy. Not enough slots for armed turrets. Uh. Much as I do find that comment about Kavak's ship amusing, I do also think it's kind of cool to have it look like a bath toy. <laughs> it's funny. Uh. Oh, this is not going to work. I'm just going to put a block in here. This is too hard. I can't even put one of these guns on to test without putting a gun module in. Oh, really? Yep. What is going on here? Are you not liking me? do for now. Apparently requires a whole bunch of energy, but whatever. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've got two of those ones. May not have enough <laughs> difference in the height for these. Imagine the pirate returning to base. So what you got this time? A glorified bath toy. I guess it should fix itself a bit when we scale up. Yeah, how many how many blocks have you got? Like as in how many upgrade slots have you got? Uh four. Ah, yes, you are quite small. Well, I mean, just comparing to yours, I'm like maybe a third of the size of whatever you're making. Yeah, because I'm trying to get close to the maximum number of things I can get. So I don't have to scale much after it. That was intentional. It's saying it is using more energy than it can produce. Yep, that sounds about right. <sighs> Need some gunnery crew. My brain. shouldn't be doing this after a night shift. I just got so excited because I'm on holidays. I'm like, eh, I want to build something that I kind of feel vaguely proud of the design. It was a mistake. Oh, there's some crew. Gunners. How many do we need? At least five. I don't have 
enough turret slots to control all the turrets. Yeah, the building small and then scaling up certainly has its advantages in this. Because you can control... Oh. Look at those guns! Block scales really well. Fire! Wait, where are you? Hang on, I want to see your guns! <laughs> that looks amazing! <laughs> I love it, Capac, that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, looks so chibi at the moment, though. Because <laughs> the scale's all wrong. Yeah. It, it looks like a bath toy. I like it. Also, it's so small that the cannons all rock the ship back. Well, do you remember when we played this as a brief edited series on the Zebra Monkeys channel? How you actually, in the bit that I never actually got around to editing, you used that as a way to get home? Yep. Because you'd run it, you'd destroyed all of your thrusters and your engines. And so your only way to be mobile was to use weapon recoil. I have to admit is really quite cool. Actually, what's... Surely we've got something here that can give me some more energy. Oops. But, hang on. I swear I did... Didn't I edit two of them, TFA? Did I only do one? Oh, yeah, that didn't fix my energy problems. To be fair, I was pretty busy with editing around that era, because that was when I, we were still doing Light Echoes, and so I was doing a lot. Nope, still not enough power. Alright, so we got the bottom of the claws, we got the inside, and okay, got most of the claws and the tail still to do. Okay, purely decorative turrets. They don't even rotate anymore. Do you need them to? Uh. Serious question. Well, if, if I want them to actually fire, yes. Could you not just rotate your ship to make them fire? I mean, I pretty much have to anyway. But, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But I like them tracking about. I don't want to fix them all in position. Oh, fair enough. Hey, thanks for the sub. I stream, you stream. I stream, you stream, we all stream of haircuts. I guess I could switch to my other ship and start... Wait, can we... Oh, do we need an equipment dock to pull out the old... Yes. So we're definitely going to need to find one. Oh yeah, because we've locked most of them down, haven't we? Yep. some quick ways to get this thing finished and functional while still not looking horrible and I'm coming up with nothing. Uh. 
Uh, where else could I look for equipment? I guess I could keep heading south along the um, along the barrier. Southeast. I know pirates oh, are attacking no, the sector. No. That's not a good time. <laughs> what did you do? Why? I just went through the gate and I couldn't stop in time. Oh. I probably will be blown up by the time I can get back. Uh, to solar fear. Capac, you'd be up for doing more Icarus on Monday, yeah? Yep. Yep. Yeah, we'll be playing more Icarus on Monday. Uh, the reason... So Capac works weekends, so we can't do stuff most of the other days. I might, but it's going to depend on um, a number of other things. I might try and find some time to play some Icarus before Monday, but we'll see. No guarantees on that one. What? Can I end up over here? That sounds like a question I'd ask, not a question you'd ask. Alright, well. Guess we're really doing some exploring. Eighty more subs to go to my completely arbitrary sub goal. Nice. <sighs> Big old asteroid belt. Anything claimable? see anything just realized how many random utterances I've been making today I'm trying to figure out how to do this thing oh there's a very odd wreckage here mm hmm is it in the middle of an asteroid field uh it's a pretty big asteroid field it's not in the middle of it it's like way off in space does it look like a wrecked space station no, it looks like a ship that's made out of cubes. Oh. Odd. Because I've seen lots of the, like, scattered around broken space station that near, are near an asteroid field. Usually quite a large one. Okay, we got no more holes at the back. Ooh, Not traveler's right. stash. Need to fill in that. I'll fill in this bit first, because that's a fiddly bit, bit. And then I'll start on the claws and then leave the tail to last. Ooh, full of space bucks. Yep, I am just slapping armor on now, trying to get this thing to a shape that makes some degree of sense. Oh. Neat. Maybe I should have done the search for information option though. Hey, hold on, thanks for a sub. Search for information no. on what? Google, I did not ask about local pubs. 
<laughs> why is why is Google able to hear you from where you are? Why have you got it yeah, set up? Because it's, it's on my phone. Oh, but all right, your phone. I don't use it. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. What is this universe? I don't know. Have you got a goatee at the moment? Uh, sort of. So it's the evil universe. Oh, well, not really. No, I'm rocking some big old mutton chops at the moment. Disturbing. It's still not as disturbing as your reverse mohawk you did. That was horrific. It looked you like you were angry at your head for something it had done to you. Well, I mean, it's not entirely <laughs> inaccurate. <laughs> Like, I'm so upset with you, I'm gonna do this. You will pay for what you've done to me. You will pay with weird hairstyle. Right over here. I mean, I can't even go to a local pub, so it's just taunting me at this point. This is true. Would you ever go to a local, all that often go to a local pub anyway though, Kavak? Hmm. Not unless I had some kind of reason to. Yeah. I used to mostly go to the pub to play T&D. That's true. Looking forward yeah. to one day getting back to that? Yeah. I'm not a doddering old man by that point. I mean, you're an old man, but I don't think you dot it yet. Claim the asteroid. Sell, sell, sell. Or have you become dottering since we've no longer been housemates? Uh. Well. <laughs> I do have my own place now. I can dotter up my leisure. Uh, let's see, where's our next destination? Do you have a lawn uh, and do you tell kids to get off it? Uh, no, I have no, no lawn care. I have stones. Though there are some plants that seem to already be getting kind of unruly. I may have to investigate. Uh-oh. Zotans. Are they going to get all cranky at me? If you shoot anything, they will. Including asteroids. You kids, get off my rocks! Yeah, I wouldn't mind one of those Zen rock gardens, but I think all the, the wind would like blow all the sand everywhere. Eh. Yeah, probably.
There's a big asteroid rock. pretty but it is what it is oh I don't see any good ones Oh, that's hideous. That's hideous. No. No, the claw is going to be horrible. I mean, I used to go to the pubs that Jason's talking about and spend all my money. Play poker. Way back in the day. Cut back of the gambler. Well, I mean, it was like pub tournament poker. Not like it's real gambling. All right, we want to head southwest to the Badlands of Destruction. That sounds like my kind of place. Oh no! What? No, they do a big poker tournament down there every year, and it's on Sunday. So no, I'm not coming down. You are not allowed. <laughs> what have we got here? Scrapyard. Not useful. All right, head west. Head west. Ooh, no snap. Maybe that can allow me to quickly place stuff down. Okay, prize money. Jazz is just yeah. being really mean to you right now, isn't he? No, not really, because I know that one of my <laughs> one of my stooge brothers will probably win it. I did last time I was there. Oh, wait. Or was that the time before? Uh. Slightly amuses me that I have met a couple of your brothers. Resource Depot Repair Dock Trading Post. And I'm closer in age to one of your younger brothers than I am to you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Asteroids in the fog. Oh. Don't mind me. Yeah, I'm aware there's a fight behind me. I'm apparently not getting shot, though. So I'm not sure what to do about it. Oh, there's Zotan. Oh. Uh. Nope. Uh, south west. Uh, it's your ship Scorpiola has been critically damaged. What? That doesn't sound good. Oh, that 
lagged out a bit. It didn't actually pop me through the gate. No, it hasn't. It's fine. What do you mean it hasn't? It popped up a message saying that it had. It hasn't though. Oh. It's fine. Um, okay. I, f I found a gate to a new empire. Huh? The Dominion of Agoash. Relations bad at war. Huh. I uh, guess that uh, has cut me off from going that way. And that's headed towards the barrier too, so we're kind of... Uh We're not crossing the barrier down this way. Let me put it that way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how likely we are to be able to cross the barrier anytime soon. Because I believe we have to get a whole bunch of other Zotan relics before we can cross. Speaking of Dungeons and Dragons, I may be uh, slowly accumulating some things for us to do once we can do some more live stuff. Oh yeah? Got any teasers for the audience? Well, there's a... Uh, north... yeah, north, northeast. Um, there's a book which is uh, like a whole bunch of like little adventures that are all based on books in the library at Candlekeep. So I thought that might be interesting to do since we were doing ah. Baldur's Gate. Oh yeah? Uh, repair dock. Oh, there's a travel hub. This ship isn't turning out exactly how I'd imagined it, but I'm still pretty happy. Mine turned out exactly how I imagined it. I'm just... I just know that it's going to need a whole lot more resources to get it up to speed. Well, we've still got money. Why don't you go buy some? Uh, what? Just go buy a bunch of Zanyans? Yeah. What the? Oh, I just flew straight through the gate. It just said destination sector is still being generated, so it didn't even try to load me into it. I just went soaring through the gate. <laughs> now the other side. Weird. Alright, if I see any more resource depots, I'll buy some materials. Ooh. Epic World 1. I'm finding all the cool systems these days. Okay. We are getting close. We are getting close. We are getting close. Uh, well, I do have a Taraka deck. We could we could do some uh, some Ravenloft. A D and D night based on picking random ca adventures from a deck. So, Boulder Dash. Yes. <laughs> right, let's head up this way.
<laughs> what are you chuckling at? Uh, Tommaso saying that he thinks he pulls it, pulled his back on the last pun. an interesting idea demon works what's that uh drawing some cards from a tarot deck for a dungeons and dragons session and then incorporating them into the oh, adventure yeah. in some way oh uh that's quite cool um what? i found a system that's got hardcore pirates in it delightful don't know how hardcore they are. I don't know if I should attack them or if I should flee. They're sending me threatening messages. <laughs> I, didn't do it. I might just keep oh, going. So that's not bad. Oh! No! Oh, that's you. Yeah, they open fire on me. You can handle yourself. But I warped out. Hey, Nomus, thanks for Prime Sub! I'm pretty sure Baldur's Gate was my first introduction to Dungeons & Dragons. It's definitely mine. Oh. Well, there's some kind of shenanigans going on here. Like, I think it was properly mine, as in, didn't even know Dungeons & Dragons was a thing before it. firing solution yeah Capac and I tried to play a bit of Neverwinter Nights not that long ago uh, we didn't get very far before we were like yeah well you were like that you were a bit too I mean it might have been because we were playing it way too late at night I mean the start of it is a little slow I'll give yeah. it that and it's well it's not it's quite as engaging as the start of Baldur's Gate and the characters you meet in the initial phase. It's all quite clunky because it was doing stuff that it didn't really... It's also real bad to look at these days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that hey, really didn't help. Big old bear, thanks for a raid. You're coming just in time for some anti-pirate action. Though they're pretty wimpy, so they didn't last real long. Wait, why am I still being jammed when there's no enemies left to jam me? Oh wait, there is. Are you taking out a pirate sector? Uh, I don't know, I just flew into a sector and there was a bunch of dudes fighting and I got involved. Sounds like it. But they're pretty wimpy. How many of the biscuits that I baked the other day are remaining? Oh. Ooh, three. You almost rammed me. Ah. There we go. That's better. Is there a big asteroid I can claim? Yes, there is. I made some of my favorite childhood cookies, uh, biscuits the other day. Um, some of my mum always used to make. Chucky oh, yeah. Rocks. It's like a vanilla biscuit base. 
you would have I've made them when we lived together, can I? Um, oh, yeah. Vanilla biscuit base with sultanas, choc chips, and then rolled in cornflakes for that crunch. They are very Moorish. And luckily, I have more of them. Oops. No, Charlie does not get these biscuits because they have two things that are potentially poisonous to dogs. Chocolate and sultanas. Yeah, Tex, I was reading oh. the other day that Sultana's, um, and grapes, obviously, uh, potentially toxic to dogs. How are they supposed to drink wine, then? They can't. They have to stick to beer. Oh. Yeah, that sucks. Seriously, though, people don't drink, don't feed your dogs beer. That's me. Uh, raisins are slightly different to sultanas. Similar, though. I think they may just be different grape varieties. And craisins, that's a whole different thing. Aren't they just sugar coated cranberry things? No, craisins are just like dried cranberries. Yeah, but I thought they had sugar on them. That's why they're craisins, not dried cranberries. Uh, I don't know. Or is it just a branding thing? I think it's just a branding. Could have sworn they were sweeter than the usual ones, though. Well, probably. You gotta add a lot of sugar to cranberries to make them very palatable. Or have them with something creamy to offset the tart. Like, I, I have them sometimes on my porridge. Because I make it with milk all the way through, and it ends up being kind of like condensed milk with oats and cranberries and it works quite well that tartness works against the creaminess uh where I is it oh I think that's there <laughs> oh wow your, your chat is talking about the the Rift War books. It's been a while since I read any of those. Uh, the Magician was like my first real non Tolkien, uh, non Tolkien slash C.S. Lewis uh, fantasy series. Uh, east, north, east. It's funny the different foods that have different connotations around the world, like cereals and porridge and stuff having Monkey more brains. of an age restriction outside of Australia than they do within. this bit. Uh. Um, I think oatmeal and porridge are similarly, but similar, but isn't oatmeal ground up oats, not whole oats? So it gets a kind of a smooth, gluey texture. That's not what I want to hear in a description of food. But I'm asking you a question. A smooth, gluey texture. You're the gluey one who's texture. lived in North America. 
Uh, I don't need any of that nonsense. Don't ask me. Anything that's described as having a gluey texture, I'm going to stay well away from. Yeah. My porridge doesn't have a gluey texture. It's a bit... <coughs> Actually, when I make it, it's a bit more like rice pudding. Just with oats. Instead of um, rice. Yeah, the reason I thought oatmeal was uh, made from ground up oats is that the meal of something is it ground up, I'm pretty sure. So I kind of just assumed it was that. Uh. <laughs> what was that? Uh, I'm just. <clears throat> ah. You just you just old manning. You know what? All this talk <laughs> of bloody porridge and oats and nonsense. <clears throat> <laughs> ah. I just bit into this uh, <laughs> oat bar, and now it's choking me to death. <laughs> Just do you, you go Pump Ha <laughs> uh, uh, Sorry Wait, that that thing? Such a weird utterance to hear from you <laughs> I just never expect anything even vaguely um, Mid or high pitched to come out of your <laughs> mouth Uh yeah, anyway, back to important things. Yes, um, Sword of Truth never had a game because the guy who wrote the series thinks that um, games are s stupid things for stupid people. So he sold the rights to his books to Sam Raimi to make into a joke of a TV show instead. Uh, but there was a game based on the Wheel of Time, which was a... Um, oh, that was an Unreal Engine game. I remember playing the, the demo of it. But Wheel of Time's got a new, like, TV series that's starting pretty soon, I think. On, um... I want to say Amazon, but I'm not 100%. Yeah, that sounds right. It's either that or... Apple? Uh, Apple's got the Foundation series that's starting. Oh, that's why I'm thinking. Uh, I think that's starting today. I have to. Oh no! Figure out how I can watch that. Since I am Apple free and proud. Me too. Always will be. Especially given how much, how much of a jerk company they were to deal with when I worked at um, that electronics retailer I worked at, which I won't say the name of, because well, they're kind of jerks too. Am I wrong? You know who it was. Well, I mean, they all are, really. It's true. What annoyed me about Apple's um, stuff being an employee of an electronics retailer was that they demanded that we do something that was not that's not technically legal within Australia's um, consumer law, uh -oh. which is that we not replace products at the retail Oof. place that they the customer bought it from, but instead replace it, uh, tell the customer to go to Apple. And if we replace stuff for the customer, as is required by Australia consumer law, 
they wouldn't then give us the credit for the dodge for the broken equipment that we'd exchanged for. So they're jerks. Oh yeah, as much as I dislike Apple, they've done a good job with the M1 chip. Come on, I almost got this guy. Alrighty, it's tail time. How oh, am I best to get the shapes onto this tail without it looking ridiculous? Yeah, for, for those people that don't know, the Sword of Truth is a very, um, taking itself seriously adult fantasy series. And they sold the TV rights to Sam Raimi, who made a, well, Xena-esque TV show. I like it's dangerous for you to be at the office on your own when you can't manage to chew and swallow Coop safely. Yeah, apparently. Enforcements. Exactly, Jackson. The Xena esque overtones. Uh, I mean, <laughs> none of those are in the show, though. <laughs> they cut all that stuff out. Uh,. weird. Come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not happy. Blam! I killed that guy in a single salvo. Oh! Incoming! That's the thing, Neo. The, the the sword of truth would never have made a good TV series in the era in which it was made. It, you could possibly do it now with like Game of Thrones and the the Amazon Lord of the Rings series coming and uh, the Wheel of Time. But when back when they made it, there wasn't anything like that on TV. And. But, but, the series would be perfect for a game, because there, there's a bunch of stuff in it that's very video game-esque, and would lend itself to, like, a stylized sword, combat, magic, action RPG kind of thing. But, the 
the writer of the books is a bit of a fruitcake and <laughs> thinks that video games are the worst thing in the world. Considering he plagiarized his own book. What? Yeah. So he, he wrote a modern thriller novel that was like a page for page uh, copy of his own fantasy novel. But if he... Huh? How... But... Does he not own the rights to that anymore? He does. But that doesn't make it not lazy. So is it... It's not plagiarism then, it's... um. Repurposing? Yeah, but that doesn't have the same uh, negative connotation. Yes, I know. You want it to have the impact. I mean, if if you if you'd read them both, you'd understand. It, it's kind of like the 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 closest example I can think of is how the Force Awakens is pretty much just a a re remake of A New Hope. Hmm. More reinforcements, really? When was the last time Disney created something unique? Um... Cause aren't, isn't a lot of their stuff based off old fairy tales and thing, things? Or not so old fairy tales and things? Yes. Like they're the Brothers but, Grimm? But they used to be good at those kind of retellings, but now they can't mm. even claim that. True. Shields are very low. Get some range on these dudes. What? Hopefully regen some shields. Okay. Uh, Tex wants to know if Rift World is worth reading, Kavak. Uh, uh. Uh, the Rift War, the uh, Raymond E. Feist. Um, uh, they're really good. I uh, back when I used to work in a sci-fi bookshop, I recommended the the first book in that series, The Magician, to everyone as a like the fantasy novel to read. So I'd I'd happily recommend that anybody read The Magician, and if they like it, read. Uh, Silverthorn and Darkness of Sethanon, and then if you enjoy all of those, then keep reading all the rest of the books, because there's like 50 other ones. Ah! Keep clicking wrong. That's gonna bug me. That little angle there is gonna bug me, but I'm... I don't think I'm going to be able to fix it without spending heaps more time on this than I want to. Because I really want to go out and shoot some things. Everybody should read Dune as well. Hopefully that movie's going to be good. I, mean, I should reread Dune. It's been so long I've forgotten 90% of it. I don't know if these guys are actually chasing me. I can't remember how many of the other books I've read in that universe. I think I started I reading to, some of them and then kind of lost interest. I need to finish reading or reread the Malazan series at some point as well. I've read some Neil Asher stuff, Madelite, but only because. Neil Ash's publishers seem to be very good at getting his books into airport bookshops. 
and I couldn't find anything else to read. They were okay. I wasn't a huge fan of his stuff. Yeah, I saw the trailer for the Wheel of Time TV show. Looked alright. It's been so long since I read any of those books. But I have no idea how accurate it is. But it didn't have much in the way of story in the trailer. Bracing myself for the rude comments Capac's going to make as soon as he sees this nearly finished. Always find something rude to say. Oh man, Tex, I, I used to talk sci-fi and fantasy as a job and it was great. And then nobody bought books anymore, so it wasn't a job anymore. Mm -hmm. And then you became my housemate. Yeah, well, it was a bit after that, but yes. It's around that time, though. I know, that was the other bookshop. That was just a Oh, that's right. That was a, It was a regular bookshop then, wasn't it? Oh, the guys I was fighting are now being... fighting some Zotans. at point blank range wham I kind of do feel like the age of the bookshop is past oh Zotans don't fight me fight these pirate dudes well at least the pirates are fighting them back who's shooting me Is that wrong? I did. There we go. Oh wait, hang on. Dang it. Take that, evil alien scum! Oh no! Did it at the front too! the battle. Here we go. Uh, Amazon might be working on new Stargate as well since they bought out MGM. Well, that's what it, a lot of people are hoping, but I haven't seen anything that suggests it's true. Well, nothing's been confirmed yet, but I've heard from Stargate people that they are, like, putting forward ideas for series. Yeah, um, hopefully to do it continuing the world canon, I think, is what Brad Wright wants to do. Aha! Cleared the whole sector. I believe. 
which would be cool. Yes, yes it would. Uh, any other yellows? No. There's my other ship. Guess I should get these greens. Well, that was over quickly. Pathetic pirates. You will soon die to my scorpion carrier. Alright, let's head up here. Gonna move on. We've been stuck fighting these pirates too long. My hope is that a new Stargate would learn the lessons of Stargate Universe. But, you know, I, I'm aware of how uh, ridiculous such a hope might be. Expecting people in. The sorts of positions that make the decisions about things like that to learn. They are somewhat known for repeating the mistakes of the past. The, the way that the current Star Trek shows have turned out means that there's a there's a huge gap in the market that Stargate could fill with a takes the science fiction seriously TV show. I was as as a healthcare worker, it was interesting. It's watching some of the Stargate again because they made although they got stuff wrong. They made a genuine attempt to get it right. Or it seemed that, was, that way. That, w that kind of thing was like baked into it from the very beginning. Like with mm. the original Stargate movie, they, uh, they tried to recreate ancient Egyptian as a spoken language for the movie. Yeah. Like they hired people that were specialists in the Egyptian language to try to recreate what ancient Egyptian might actually have sounded like spoken. And they kind of carried that on into how they treated like the military and the science and other aspects of it through the TV shows. Uh, the Expanse always feels to me like it's less science fiction and more teen drama because it seems to be so much about character drama and not a lot else. Yeah, I haven't really watched the Which is expense. why I lost interest. Yeah, Demon Wax, that's... And I know a comment like that is going to upset a few people. <laughs> Demon Wax, that's what you really want. You want, Like, you want the space opera side of things, but you also want it to... Be grounded? Yeah, you don't want it to be, oh, a wizard did it because it's it's science fiction so you don't need a reason for things to happen no it's like it, it has to at least be internally consistent uh northeast like that's probably my biggest problem with n new star trek ever since 2009 they've been all about Oh, just just do whatever is cool to get where we want the story to go. It doesn't have to make sense. Like, no, it kind of does. And it's not just little things. It's like huge inconsistencies in like the main plots of the shows.
Uh, oh well, there's a resource depot here. Let's see if I can buy some Zanyans. Alright, here we go. What do you guys reckon? My scorpion ship. Well, I said like... It's only taken me two and a half hours to build. Midi chlorians isn't that bad. Midi chlorians, when it comes down to it, is just world building. Like it didn't actually introduce any like plot holes. There wasn't like something. It, what? The... Why? Midi chlorians was just unnecessary. It wasn't inherently bad. Yeah, it was unnecessary, and it didn't like contradict anything that had happened before. It was just like an explanation for how something supposedly worked well this thing actually turns alright look at that turns better than my other ship uh, trade resources Zanyan how much money do we have how much of this do we want to buy that much do you, uh, what how much did you just buy? Uh, like 123,000. Apparently. Costs 3 million space bucks. Yeah, we're running out of space bucks now. Well, I, I mean, am almost so finished my ship though. I got two asteroids, so that paid for most of that. Yeah, true. Um, I have man I have Zanyan mount points here, here and here. Still haven't found an equipment dock though, which is not good. Um, now I'm just going to check and see if there are any other little bits that I want to do on this thing. Oh, like that hole there before I try and scale this thing up. I mean, Stargate, I just bought. Stargate does have a little bit of an issue that they do have these, like, they've got a lot of technology and things, but there's still plenty of room for them to explore, like, they can always go to a new planet and find something weird. They can always fly to somewhere they've never been before. They could always encounter some new race of aliens or something. And there's still plenty you could do on the political side of things as well, because, like, humans using stargates to colonate, colonize the galaxy has all kinds of opportunities for storytelling that hasn't really been done on, like, TV or movies before. Yeah, that, the Stargate program being revealed to the public was something that I was waiting for for, like, since season five of the show. <laughs> well, I think given how far the, like, whole universe developed, they could do it now. And they could take it in a whole different direction. Yep. Icarus Beta 3 just dropped. Talent and skill unlocks from last weekend are intact. Interesting. Uh, let's go grab some crew. Does anyone know how to use the clone bays on these things? Cloning pods. I might need to have clone crew to clone. Oh, is that a rare item? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yes, Atlantis did land <laughs> on Earth. Oh, be something good. 
Infernal transporter software. Wait, am I, I really hope I'm out of power because of no crew. Guess I'll head east. Oh, seventy five meters a second is so slow. That's a sad little timely reminder, Lohan. Wormhole Extreme. Uh, the actor who played the alien dude who was trying to make it uh, passed away this week. Oh. Ooh, yeah, I forgot that he did that. <laughs> Kavak, did you listen to anything I said just then? What? Yes. Do you realize what you said after what I said? Yes. You said in a somewhat excited tone, I forgot that he did that when I was talking about him dying. Yeah, because all the all the obituary social media posts I've seen about him have all been talking about sex in the city. Oh. I've totally forgotten that he was in uh See, the only Stargate. posts that I've seen are the Stargate ones. Well, I guess that just shows that I follow the mainstream media a bit more than you. Yeah, I choose not to. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, to west? No. West. South, south, east. Where's the northwest gate? There we go. Oh, this is back to Otexit territory. Oh, and this is Ishan space. You know what? I, I probably should come back around. Actually, it's funny. it's funny you should say that, Jazz Mac, because it was actually when I was down at the snow that I watched a whole bunch of Sex in the City, because one of my housemates had a whole bunch of Sex in the City DVDs, and that was the only uh, video content in the house. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sure. That was sure. all that ever got watched. I was exposed to far more of it than is healthy for any human person. All I'm hearing is Kathak loves Sex in the City. Yeah, that sounds like what I just said. Yeah. Chat, do you agree with me? Oh, I was hoping this would allow me to place stuff under here. Dang it. Air dock and shipyard just down in the middle of nowhere. Is there a way, you guys who know um, of Orion better, is there a way I can get in to build this stuff without removing the outer blocks? Oh yep, Farscape, that was a great show too. Yeah, I really liked Farscape. <laughs> and the, uh... The crossovers with, uh, Stargate and Farscape, like, shared cast members and, um... Yeah, that was fun. Was it episode 200 of Stargate where they had the, the Farscape parody? Well, 
Body of Black and Ben Proud are, are good together. Mm -hmm. Forgive my ignorance, but who is Sir Clive Sinclair? Uh, the computer dude, uh, the English guy. Oh, internet uh, dude. The, the ZX Spectrum. Yeah. There we go, now we got energy. Do people just suddenly not have a need for equipment once they get a certain distance into the galaxy? <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. Uh. Uh, Kabak. Zoom way out on the map. You zoomed out? Yeah. There's an equipment dock here. Well, yeah, that's that's handy. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should head that direction. What is that? East? You're going to come back now? Because I've got a ship that's ready to go. Uh, you do? Just needs guns, yeah. Yeah, I do. Finally. Um... Hmm. Uh, hang on. But how are you going to remove all the modules off your old ship? Oh yeah, that's right. That's what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to tell my old ship to fly to that other place. Or we could just fly it back to our main attacks space. Uh... Oof, that's going to take half an hour to get there. Uh, actually, there is a the wormhole just to the south of us. Uh, would actually take us pretty close to a uh, equipment dock in Otexit space. Okay, so we're going to bring our ships with us then. Uh, so, hmm. how do you... Um, select your ship on the map view. Then click on travel, which is the fourth icon down on the orders. And then select the destination. You'll have to tell them to go, tell them to, go to the wormhole, I think. And then what? we can go from there. But how do I... So select the ship. Oh, yep. okay. Ship needs a captain for that. Wait. <laughs> to get my ship to its maximum possible size will require 753,000 Zanyan, 250,000 Trinium, and 65,000 iron, as Oof. well as 10.8 million credits. Wait, what did you make out of iron? The inertial dampness. Oh. You can only make them out of iron. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, what do they actually do? Help you slow down. Uh.
Uh, where is... Spaceship? Repeated jumping might be a challenge with this ship. No! Oh, I was so close to making that jump. Also, wow, my hull is bad. That's a thing. What? You under... Oh. Uh, there's an item here somewhere. Yellow. Let's get it. I found another way to bring my ship. How's that? You docking the two? Yep, I'm gonna carry it. to the wormhole. Huh. Oh, I'm cloning some crew members. Yeah. See you, Tex. Catch you later, Tex. I need so much more energy creation capacity on this thing, but hopefully with the upgrade module things I'll get there. Oh, this is back near Empo Scum territory. Oi, stop talking about my friends like that. Friends oh, yeah. have, you scum. have you bought any fighters yet? No. I have not. Uh, my Omicron Mavalite is at zero because I have no guns. What the? Oh. Okay, what? I read the map wrong. I don't know how I did that. Uh, I guess there's... Yeah, that one. Yeah, I thought the... Uh, come back, this one. It's closer. Yeah, yeah, but I... The one where I pinged, that's where I thought the wormhole came out. Oh. For some reason it didn't draw the whole right. line of the wormhole. But it came out earlier. I'm going to need some serious energy capability boosting because my energy is terrible. I wonder like, what deficiencies my ship's going to end up with. Like, my generated energy is 40 gigawatts, but it's still not enough. The 
There's another wormhole here. On the other side of the galaxy. Yeah. Uh, you're under attack? Uh, I think I just smashed somebody's uh, space grave out of orbit. Right. Thanks, Ascendo. Accendo. I'm kind of happy with my design. It's not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's close enough. I definitely didn't want to spend any longer than I did. I kind of didn't want to spend how long I or have spent on this thing. <laughs> it's three hours and we still haven't actually got guns on it. Yeah, the claws aren't quite right. A few bits of it aren't quite right, but the time it would take to fix them. Ugh. I don't have any guns and I don't have a ship with any guns either. Because I sent my ship ahead. I wonder if I can take it on my own at this point. Can you just escape? Probably, but it's going to take a little while. Yeah, I might just bug out of here. our equipment dock oh you know we did get a purple didn't we get a purple module that had something to do with fighters yes it's uh, AI pilots right here's the equipment dock Pilots is borderline useless. Oh. Well, there you go. Uh, just a sec. I'm going to go grab a drink. Okay, what do I need to do? Uh, so, uh, oh, dang it, dog! You can't be up there. You. Well, the battle of the dog continues. All right, so I gotta uninstall all my old components, and I need to. Uh, how do I undock? Undock. You stay there. 
Oh, sorry about that, everyone. Whoa. Went to get a drink and dog started going under uh, the desk. What's whoa, Capac? Um, there's a very odd chip here. <laughs> Oh. I do not believe is a uh, <laughs> randomly generated. Nope, that appears to be Crimson ship. Wolf's ship. It is a thing on Warbird fused with a Romulan Warbird with some Federation quad warp nacelles attached to it. Is my other ship. Our uh, station building's the same, Mr. Gallinor. Fully customizable. Alright, so I guess I just want to remove everything. But how am I gonna find these parts again? I'll just be lost in the gazillion <laughs> modules. Well, unless we want to go out and get duplicates of some of the bits. Oh, that doesn't work. Because didn't we get the three scratches one from Boss Swocks? Uh, the turret one. Yeah, I think that's yeah. the first one you get. So shouldn't we be able to go and get some more of those? Uh, possibly. Do we have any in the Alliance Vault at the moment? We have one. Did you take um, your... Oh no, we have three. Um, I've got... I've got two of the six scratch ones. Yeah, we've got we've got two more uh, three scratch ones in the Alliance Vault. Uh. Uh. So there are other players on this server who are because I gave the details of the server that we're running to my supporter the supporter crew on um discord uh right so but the server's only up when we're playing so you want us to go find a swax then no we shouldn't need to we've got plenty of them you do yeah i'm just trying to decide whether i want to do this pilots thing or have real oh, pilots there's two here okay so if i go I go to here and I enter ship. Yeah. Armed turret slots. That's what's killing my energy. Install permanently. Okay, that was probably a bad idea. What'd you do? I probably shouldn't fire my guns from inside the shield of my other ship. <laughs> Wait, why aren't my guns tracking? Okay, what else do I need? Hyperspace enhancer? Dang it. So marvelous. don't know about this pilot thing. 
So I need civil turrets. I need one of these reviving shield boosters. No, that's not how you spell shield. It doesn't have an R in it. No, we don't have any here. Actually, is there anything good to buy at the... station? Code injector. Uh, no, it all looks like polarizer. garbage. So I need to scale this thing up. Um. Where'd it go? Kabak, I'm going to sell everything that's uh, common or below in tech level. Are you okay with this? Uh, sure. Because I think it'll clear out a heap of our inventory and make it a bit easy, a bit easier to see through. Oh no, we don't have enough money. Well, selling this stuff might help. What do you need? What are you trying to buy? To scale up my ship. How much are we trying to scale it up? Uh. Like mine's huge and I couldn't scale mine up. Well, mine's pretty small. And to get it up to 150, I need another 100,000 credits. You're just selling a bunch of junk. Yep. Since we still haven't found one of those research stations. There we go. That's looking a bit better. What am I missing now? Need more engineers. Likely to use any shield reinforcers, Capac? They're the ones that give you more shield. Uh, what do they do? Shields can't be penetrated by shots or torpedoes. Durability is diverted to reinforce shield membrane. Time until re recharge after a hit is increased. So it makes them harder but less durable. Are we likely to use that? Uh, I guess not. Similarly for increasing our resistance against electrical attack. Fighter cannon. Point defense laser. No, not enough turret slots. Hmm. Have you seen anything in there that's a like a fighter based upgrade? 
Um, what in the like the uh in that modules? Uh, what happens if you search for fighter? There's the AI ones. There's a transporter software that affects fighter cargo pickup. Internal defense weapons. Ah, Artist here we go. Plus There's two, a couple of blue speed ones. Up. Yeah. Four headed Hydra. Have you put... Mm. Hmm? Oh, you can only have one per ship. Yeah. How many modules do you now have... Uh, options do you now have on your ship? Five. Hmm. Yeah, we need a lot more resources to get these ships big. Okay, how on earth do we do these fighter things? Turret control. Plasma fighter. Wait, that's... Huh? Uh, we need more money. Yep. I got a lot more money. <laughs> Not enough slots for defensive turrets. So the... Hmm... So the auto turret control subsystem that adds plus five auto turret slots doesn't give you defensive turret slots. Yeah, there's there's kind of a mixture of things. Sometimes they're better than others. and borders need more power uh, how do I do a fighter blueprint no idea uh, Limit is for active squadrons, so if you're allowed three and have sufficient hangar space, you can have three fighter squadrons, three minor squadrons, etc. You just need to manually adjust the fighter screen to set which ones are active. Also, logically enough, only need pilots for the fighters you actually launch, not every fighter you happen to own. This will destroy the fighter and turn it into a blueprint. This action is irreversible. It will also remove the previous blueprint if there is one. Oh. Okay.
Uh, sure, let's do this one too. Okay, we've got two fighter squads and hopefully some fighters being produced. Where in this thing... Oh, there we go. Cost 8,400 nanite, time 8 minutes 14 seconds for a new fighter, 5 minutes 30 seconds for another boarding shuttle. Cool. Gah! That was bright. Uh, where's the brick? Sorry, brick. You're going to lose all your guns. Just in case some of them are better. Terrible place to build, too close to the station. Right, you, you're on point defense. Oh, if you run low on one, you prioritize shutting down the other product, down a production speeds up others. Cool. Jeez, this thing is slow. So once this one's, once I've got my shuttles, I'll um, disable them and just build new fighters. to get some pilots though because I have no pilots sure whatever oh no I have too many crew Um, right, that's permanently installed. Doesn't seem to do anything if you permanently install it. Oh, uh, this does. Stinger. Gives this to me though. Yeah, a lot of the I've got all my good weapons in the pile right now, just to let you know, so don't go stealing all my good stuff. Yeah, that's alright, I'm not using the same kind of guns as you. Situation rectified.
Ah, all right, back to guns. <laughs> it is spaceship surgery. This thing is not as maneuverable as the old one. That is for sure. <laughs> hmm. You're not using the rail guns, are you? No. Alright, let's just... Everything's coming off. Oh, DPS per slot. That's what that means. Yep, I should probably do that. You're right. Let's try this again. I'm, I read the... I was interpreting this wrong. I was seeing it as DPS... Sort by DPS and slot, as in type. Not DPS per slot. Which would explain why sorting this way gives more of the tiny weapons. What's wrong? Oh. Uh, I think the game just did something really stupid. Uh, well, that's just wonderful. I think I just trashed a bunch of stuff because my ship had drifted too far away from the equipment dock. Oh no, Kavak. Well, great. It didn't it give you a warning? Surely it gave well, you just... some sort of warning. I didn't notice because I'd just done it on the other ship where it worked fine because it was a couple of meters closer. Oh, that's so obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, that hurts. slots so my firepower is 10,240 Omicron
your fighters i have fighters i'm seeing a bunch of little blue icons flying into the fight over there what oh uh maybe are they my fighters chat uh -oh. i need more power or are they fighters from an allied thing? They look like they might be fighters. There might be an allied carrier here. What else do I need? Shields. Yeah, they're coming. They, no, they came from that station, Kabak. Those fighters. They're not mine. Oh. I've never seen those before. Yeah. Yeah, I know DPS doesn't include overheating. It's just too complex to include overheating in my own calculations. I'll just. I'll get good enough from the. Not making enough power. Dog just scared the bejesus out of me by licking my foot. I did not realize she got onto my desk again. Why did that not change anything? Hooray, I've got two boarding shuttles. Yeah, <laughs> it does have a bit of a zat look to it. Is that Nekatel? Alright, tugboat, you ready to go? You got a bit more, fair bit more work to do. Where's the big guns? Biggest guns with the longest ranges. Capac does stuff. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Isn't it?
not that one. Let's get this thing a rail gun. Wow. I can fit a lot of guns on this thing. Alrighty, that's looking alright. Hey, Nicky World, thanks for the sub. What? Did somebody play the Universal Grading? I didn't hear it. Is it not working? Or am I just so absorbed in trying to get these stupid <laughs> guns to work? Could be that. Defense. So we've got a minor captain. Uh, don't know if that's good enough. So can I? What does invite to group mean? No player is finding a ship. Uh, orders. Escort me. <laughs> hey, thanks, Nuki World. I refuse to accept anything said as such. Also, I didn't paint my ship! Oh, look at that broadside. Wham! Luckily, my ship is already the perfect color. <laughs> Miserable gray. Uh, resource Depot wants 20,000 titanium. So go give it. They will pay handsomely for it. We got enough. Uh, where's the resource depot? Oh, that's a trading post. Oh, this is going to be rough. Investigate missing freighters. Deliver 20,000 titanium. There we go. Wow a lot of money for that. Good. We could use a lot of money.
Nah. <laughs> I want to use this thing. Stop fiddling with it. Uh, I'm putting the anti-fighter and missile defenses on the deck on the back there. That's my plan for that. Where are you, Carpaccio? There you are. The Ticonderoga. I want to get a picture with the two of us next to each other. No worries, color waiver. key for hiding my HUD. Oh, I always forget. see what you've done. What do you mean? What was you've unseen made a giant, before? Giant space scorpion wearing boxing gloves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's ac kind of accurate. Are uh, you... How close are you to fighting? I mean, I could fight now. I don't know what'll happen. What else? What else do you need to do to be feeling like you're ready to fight? Scale up and get more modules in. Well, I think to scale up, we need to go do some missions and get some money. Yep, probably. Uh, so, are there any missions in this sector? Uh, there. Delivery. Tran there's a transfer vessel mission. Investigate missing freighters. Yeah, I saw that one. How much is that one worth? Uh, 440,000. Let's do it. Okie dokie. Uh, 250 minus follow. 148. 250. Yeah. Report to the resource depot once you have 45 free, free cargo space. 250 minus 1 for 8 is here. Yeah, I have to report to the resource depot. Yeah. Oops. Ah, oh, this thing's so much slower than I'm Oops. used to. Oh, you just moved the whole station. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Alright. Ah! What? I keep saying you uh. must be docked. Oh, did you just crash again? Yeah, I think I broke the dock too. You know, you might want to make like a shuttle that you could go to a dock with <laughs> if you're just going to ram your giant scorpion into it over and over again. for warning shots. Blam! Yeah. 
Okay, I've got the potatoes. Potatoes? Yep, no, we need to go here next. Ships. I've pinged the location. Alright. Going about. Jumping. I thought I... I thought I'd made the thing for... Next jump is here. I thought I'd... Like, for the thing for docking far away, I thought I'd put that on the ship, but I must have deleted that block doing stuff. Yeah, 45 potatoes is definitely going to make me look like a freighter. Scorpions can be freighters too. Ping to the next location. And the next location. Aha! If you want to live, you have only one option now. You're the pirates that destroyed all those freighters. Who did that? Yes, yes, yes. And why don't you turn on them? Fine, I'll try and defeat them. Excellent. Let's go defeat the pirates at... Here. What? These aren't the pirates? Well, these are the pirates, but they're not the reason that they're pirating. The pirates that are the reason that they're pirating are the pirates that we need to pirate and kill. What? <laughs> what I said was actually correct, I think. I heard you are forcing innocent freighters to put to fight for you. I will put a stop to that. Let's see you try. Okay, Capac's already started shooting. Oh, we're back in a bit lower area, aren't we? A little bit. There we go. <laughs> Return, fighters. Thank you for returning our people. Velocity security control bypass. Look at my fighters trying to get into my tail. Um, they seem to be struggling a bit. Yes, this could be a problem. Got any tips for how to make the? Uh, I guess not make it so hard to get in. I could shoot them would... away in. You are not shooting them away in. Hey, don't shoot my things. They actually cost money and resources. Why won't they go to my bigger hangar? Why are they going to the mini one? Because it probably randomly assigns them a hangar entrance and they keep going until they get in. Oh, hang on, let's try this. Dead scorpion swarming with flies. Can I? Oh. Something's blocking it. It's blocking it. Uh, 
Uh, the other ship's gonna get repurposed as some kind of escort for the mining ships, I guess. Is that gonna help? Alright, now they're going to the other hangar. So I just deleted it. Now we do this. And then we delete it. And I'm just going to try having another hangar there anyway. Just to see. If I can get it to work. If I do something different. Yeah, I'm thinking too deep in the armor is the problem, so I'm trying to make it longer. That might be too long. Yeah, they'll do for now. Uh, right, we need another mission for more monies. Did you tell your other ship to escort you? No, I just left it behind. Oh, you may want to go pick it up. Doesn't have any guns on it. You can put guns on it. Yeah, that was kind of the idea for it to look like a gun that shoots fighters. Wanted, dead, not alive. Excellent. That sounds like a mission for us. Accept. Baron Nirakto. Two five one minus one three eight. Over here, Kapak. What? I'm going back to my other ship. Okay, well when you go back, come and join me. What? I tried to jump too fast and I used up all my power. Yeah, I'm getting so confused. There's so many ships everywhere. Uh, okay, apparently I've got to fight these pirates because they want to loot the wreckage that we need to get information from. Okay. Delightful. Oh, I got the I got the loot ship. Okay. That kind of loot ship. Ooh. <laughs> yep, that's a fair amount of stuff.
This thing also handles really well. The ship. I like my scorpion. Hooray, all my fighters returned. <laughs> the tail's blocking the view. It kind of is. I can sort of fix that. Uh, all right, so... <laughs> Laws. That one's actually well, quite good. Uh, of course my ship handles well. It's got a giant one there right on top. Did you just pick up a legendary battery booster? Did I? There's a purple battery... Uh, thing. Ooh. Which is plus 104% and plus 47%. Huh. That would be quite useful, wouldn't it? Um, Are you short on power? Turrets. Yes. Do you want to use it? Back. Or do you, you don't have Kinda. a slot for it? Well, I've, I've already got a battery thing in, so I can take one out and put that one in. Okay. Um, <laughs> it almost looks like a scope. Let's get some random nonsense in here. Log files. Showing most recent entries. Okay. You ready to join me or am I just going to run this mission solo? Eh, may as well go while I fix this up. Okay. Leave the brick behind somewhere. Yes. Hmm. Oh, I'm sending it off to the mining fleet. Yes, we are looking for Baron Naracto. We saw him and his people at a trading post not long ago. Started asking around, wanted to hire a crew. But they left us left when security was alerted. Where are they now? Well, if you can bring them down, you'll be doing everyone a favor. They jumped to 251 minus 147. Oh laws, you know what I mean by that one was actually good. It was... it surprised me as I read it. Ah, so the rumours are true. They sent bounty hunters for us. And you believe that you can capture us, you worm? We'll see about that. Alrighty, I guess my old ship's ready for escort duty now. How do I... I've already got a captain. Uh, how do I... How do I put a captain on my other ship? Ah, don't shoot things. Okay, I'll ram things. That's hardly helpful. Aha! What is... Why are you still doing that? Okay. Me? 
made money. Don't have enough tart slots, that's fine. Um, how do I deal with these captains? Uh, so you go into the eye view, and then you can grab, so you can take the captain out of it and put it into a passenger seat and then move the passenger seat captain back into the captain slot. How do I move them to another ship? Uh, I think you have to transfer them as cargo. Uh, what? So you... I think you can move them into your inventory, maybe? Or once they're down the bottom as passengers, they can be put in any ship. Can't remember. What the... Why is this station pushing my ship away? Oh. I what is happening? I'm so confused. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Huh. Oh, transfer crew. Too far away. Thank you for that, Azure Siriu. Um, I had missed that I had stuff, more stuff I could collect. A captain. He's a Commodore. Whatever uh, that means. Dastardly pirates. Outlaw scum. Okay, Man, so those now... fighters nailed it. So, how do I tell the so impatient to go do something useful? Uh, send it on the map. Send it up to where our mining fleet are, so that we can add them to our mining fleet. Uh... It's the easiest way to get there. You don't need to, like, actually send it, you can just say, go here. Yeah, and it doesn't work. Yes, it does. This sector is out of reach with this ship. <sighs> so click on the so impatient, then click travel, which is the fourth icon down. Travel? Yeah. What? No, it's still not doing anything. Oh? Uh, did that do something? No, it's not moving. No. It should do. So impatient. Order completed, awaiting new orders. Did you just send it straight here? Oh, there we go. I'm sending it to where the mining ships are. Yeah, that's what I've done with mine. Uh, start. Okay. I guess it's on the way. Alright, now what are we doing? Uh, just a sec. I've accepted a, the... There's another mission here, which I think I already accepted. Um, I'm just in the middle of doing something to improve my ship a bit. Wanted, wanted all the Zanyan from this place. Not alive. 
Looking for a bounty hunter. The target is wanted for multiple crimes against civilians. Cool. Accepted. Yep. I'll come join you. I'm just gonna try and... I gotta go buy some more Zanyan. Renegades of the family. Oh wait, They've there's probably no Zanyan in, in most of these places. I think we need to get back into further in for the Corewood uh, attacks at space. To get some more yeah, probably. monies. Where's my jump thingy? Oh, it's on the other side of the rift. I have to go around. Oh, wait, I was gonna... I'm gonna do that before I go. Not resource. Depot. <laughs> uh, Laws just said, ah, crew on board station. Ah, it's Splitzy. Intercom. All personnel. All personnel. Evacuate the docking room. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. It's a Splitzy ship. Brace for impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I've been a bit reckless. Alright, that should help with my power management. Die, Zotan scum. Yes. Research station. Is it the lightning research or is it a regular research? Proper research. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll go have a look. Good idea. Yeah. Mouse pad is creeping around the place. You need a mouse mat. One of the ones that covers your desk. Alright, that's a travel hub. Research station. Research! Aha! Oh. Uh -huh. Really? Uh, how does this work? Just don't throw anything good in there. Yeah, I'll try jamming in a bunch of, uh, like, white stuff and see what happens. Yep. Uh, gun. No! Why do none of these gun. stations have Zanyan? Gun. I need to go further. Gun. And gun. Research. Must be docked. Well, fine. Uh, what was All right. 
Let's do that again. Let's check this resource depot. Big gun. What happened? Nothing, because I had to dock. I see. Devious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I need to go up to here. Aha! Uh -huh. so let's go here. I traded in five green cannons. Uh -huh. uh, five white cannons for a green cannon. So it's it's Rocket League. Yes. <laughs> trade five commons for an uncommon. Trade five uncommons for a rare. Trade five rares for a very rare. Trade five very rares for an exotic. Apparently you can do it with three J the Ostrich sets. Why are there five slots then? Uh, perhaps it gives you some chance at something better, I'm not sure. Oh, I put put three greens in and it gave me a green back? Uh oh. Maybe it's a higher chance if you put more in? That's some way to get rid of all this stuff that's cluttering up the place. Yeah. Good job finding it. That's handy. There we go, got blue. Ah, uh, if you put five in, it's a hundred percent chance. Makes sense. Put a bunch of rocket launchers in. Rocket launchers are quite a handy long range weapon. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Getting some shiny new lasers. Uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Uh, lasers, oh, how many more waves do I have to kill before this guy gets able to be damaged? Uh... Oh, I know what I need to rename. I've just thought of the name for my ship. Boy, why are you still immune? Ugh. Yeah, time to die, pirate mothership. Uh, are Scorchers a kind of laser? Uh, sort of, yeah. Uh, but I don't, I think that's, there are separate weapon type 2 lasers. I think, maybe? There's some sort of beam weapon. I think. I use them. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you what they do. Because I put so many guns on, I don't know what's doing what, to be honest. Yep. It's a bit like that. Yeah, it is.
Uh, I sort of left my fighters in because I wasn't sure how well they'd hold up against these better enemies, but I probably should have just used them. At least we know my guns are capable. Large fleet of alien ship time. Sector cleared. Alright, fighters, let's go. Ooh, a superior point defense laser. Okay, uh, there's a few... Uh, blue TA lasers in there now. Cool. Want some more lasers? Uh, what else have we got? Yeah. Come on, die. I assume that's you under attack. And not anything I need to worry about. Scorpiola. Uh, it didn't say. It just said one of your crafts. Ah. Could well be me. I guess I could do these subsystems. Ah, my shields are fine. Because remember, I've got the boosting recharger thing, so I've got another 30% after this that immediately comes back. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't lose my shields. Hadn't lost my shields yet. Now, can I get you guys to... Do I have to get a separate type of fighter so that I can get them to pick up loot for me? You experienced Avorian players in chat? I guess if we've got multiple of something, it just automatically researches the next tier version? Guess so. I don't remember messing around with the research station much, to be honest. Transport a block and system. Right, I'll have to fiddle around and try and squeeze a transporter block onto this at some point. Man, okay, this... I think this needs some way to automate. Because <laughs> I could just sit here for days doing this. Just converting things into other things. Yeah. Maybe the game intends it for you to be um, something you don't do for everything, but you just do for certain, trying to get some fancy stuff. Binary Duck, I was thinking about having salvages on this, but I just don't end up use like spending that much time on it. It takes so much time to get the stuff from salvage that I don't really worry about it, to be honest. 
On my last ship, yeah, I had the salvage lasers and I was using them a little bit, but I don't think it was worth it. I think I would have been better off just continuing to do more missions. If I can collect enough modules, then Capac will be stuck at that research station forever. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, Demon Works, that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, if I was playing normally, I'd totally salvage a lot, but on stream, I'm not going to do it a lot, maybe just a little. Yeah, apparently there's an auto research mod. Uh -huh. Makes a lot of sense. Once I get this Zanyan, do you want to maybe investigate one of the Exodus sites that I've discovered? Mm, I don't know. I'm kind of busy with these spreadsheets. <laughs> Are you enjoying the spreadsheets or would you like to do something as a bit of a break? Oh. Uh, Alright, I've probably had enough of this for now. Oh, I'm under attack. Oh, you bought some pirates. That's why the Empire yep. like us a bit more. Um. Okay. Well, what was I doing? Uh, I'm not sure. What Where you are you at? I'm toward. I'm Corwood. Oh, jeez, you're miles away. Yeah. In space, miles. All what? Right, guess I'll head over to you. Ah, oh, why does no one have any Zanyan? Oh, deliver 7,000 Zanyan. Hmm. I wonder if they'll sell Zanyan after I've delivered this. Are you giving away your Zanyan? Well, if it gets us tons and tons of money, yeah. Because then we can buy more Zanyan somewhere else. Buy high, sell low. Come on. Simple economics. Wait a minute, huh. I think you had that backwards. 
I was wondering how long it'd take you to pick that up. I did say it that way on purpose to see how long it'd take you. Okay. I didn't sign up to this job for economics. Oh, I'm still running out of power. Oh. I don't really have nope. any good no way to cram sale. more generation onto this thing, though. I mean, I guess I could put solar panels on the sides. You just want to squeeze more generator blocks into it. Yeah, I'm kind of... that... Oh, are you going to be sick? Or have you got hiccups? It's very distracting having a puppy. Okay, panel. my ship just got bigger. Ooh, two extra slots. Uh, how does one upload the, this ship to the workshop? Oh, that's right. I wanted to rename my ship. Uh. Rename it. That'll give us a little more power. Now, where are we going? There should be a wormhole around here somewhere. and snips there we go now we save design save current design call it Zoidberg. yeah uh, over here upload to workshop Sails, so I don't know that it's sailing. Cruising, maybe? This could be a cruiser. There we go. Citizen Snips is on the workshop. Maybe it's a destroyer. Need the northwest gate. Should be you. No, that's southwest. <sighs> Shield, 424,000 hit points. Okay, maybe I don't care so much about that. Well, she's sluggish, but she's got some firepower. Uh, what should I do as my next upgrade? Uh, you could uh, enhance your venom glands. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have my radar range and stuff. Because I don't have any deep scanning.
Yeah, that's probably smart. Yeah, Wait. I could use the battery. Wait a second. Oh. I got distracted by that research station. I never went to do that mission that I took. All right, let's do this. Oh, well, yeah, I'll just have to wait. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I did unarmed. I did civil. Dang it. I put the wrong turret control system in. Uh, a ship that I just went past mentioned something about combining legendary items in a research station to get something different. Yeah, so if we get lots of um, boss swak stuff, maybe. Yeah, I guess. I have no idea where the Zanyan things have to be, but maybe that'll work. There's, oh, it's the transporter block can be tiny. Okay, cool. <laughs> Done. We have transporters. Uh, okay, Capac, um, what was I suggesting we do? I don't know, but you dragged me all the way up here for it, so it better be good. Oh dear. Well, but he's gone. Are you here? Never see him again. What? Like, are you in the system? No, I'm heading to Poem of Tranquility. Where's that? North. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a equipment station here. Yeah, we want to basically keep grinding some cash, don't we? So we can upgrade your ship next. Build it up. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Um... Oh, Relic! That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, where's the nearest one? I've got a few locations. Uh... Missions. Operation Exodus. Uh, looking for Zotan artifacts. Hey, yeah, that's that fake mission, remember? Credits. Yeah, but we can blow some dudes up. Accepted. Oh, okay. Alright, we'll do that, and then we're going to do my my mission. Uh, Tell me where mission? we are going. Oh, dear. Why is it so far away? 153 minus 13. Uh. Yeah, that's a long way. Wow. Well, I'll see you there in about half a year. Uh, oh, can we even get through up there? Oh, don't start saying that. There's one of those rifts in the way. There's gotta be some way through, or surely they wouldn't have given me a mission there. Uh, I hope. Well, there's probably a gate network <clears throat> somewhere that goes uh, across it. Uh, it looks like there's a gap through.
How rude. It's not a tube incognito, it's a battleship. <laughs> Just looks a little bit like a tube from the back. To the untrained eye. Convinced the transporter was my best option. I may have been better off getting a battery charge, but oh well. Come back. Are you at the location now? No. Almost. No, it's just I oh can jump God. further than you, so I was. Yeah, my jump range is a bit increased in this ship. pretty decent. Alright, going in. Okay. Jumping in now. Pulling the collector. Oh, they crashed into each other. Uh. Oh, I guess we're fighting. What about my reward? Oh, it's the four again. Got it with these guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Demon Rex, isn't the battery thing that I was calling a battery thing actually an energy production booster? So, yeah, I'd agree. Pro increasing production is better than increasing capacity. Yeah, which one are you shooting? I don't this know. one. Yes, go my massive cannons. Go my little fighters, go! and an orange. Uh, there's also some pirates over there. Yes, there are. Hey, leave some treasures for me. I did. There's a purple there for you. Uh, number five. Which one was number five? I can't remember. Ah, uh, it's the one with everything. Ooh. The upgrade for when you can't decide what upgrade to use. Why are these guys so far away? I don't know. I'm getting loots. 
Ooh, premium exotic scorcher. Killed one before they even got into weapons range. Return, my pretties. Land. Ow. My shields. I'm inbound at three kilometers a second. Incoming torpedo. Oof. Yeah, I see it. Rescue is here. <laughs> hey. There's another bunch. Brew. They are also a very, very long way away. Of course they are. Give my shield some time to regenerate, I guess. Charge! I don't know what my voice did that. As I said that. I dropped a taco in the deep fryer. What? Well, that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> that's what he... I'm pretty sure that's one of the um, fast food guys. Teenager dudes. Vines in The Simpsons. I have some vague memory of it. We need more special sauce. Put some more mayonnaise out in the sun. Yeah, the teenage guy that just works everywhere where they need this stereotypical teenager to work. Okay. Well, okay, these guys are a bit tough up. Well, they've got Zanyan ships. My fighters collect stuff is amazing. Having all of my guns overheat at once is not so amazing. Comes some more of them. Yeah, the pimply redhead. That's the one on the guy.
Oh no, a plasma torpedo. Whatever will I do? Apparently, I might have built a somewhat powerful ship. Because we're quite near the core. Well, mine's definitely better armoured than my last one was. That's good. You don't immediately fall apart when you lose your shields. Mm-hmm. It helps. It'll be even better once we can get enough Xanion for you to upgrade the size of your ship. Oh, my guns are all overheated. Yeah, mine too. Die! Jesus, this thing is a tank. Let's let my guns cool down a bit. There's a wave coming in. Okay, here we go, Cool down a bit. Oh! That worked. I think I did already. Mm hmm I do have over 10,000 Omicron. I'm presuming you're somewhere up around the six or seven. I don't know. I haven't had a look. Ow! Pretty fast too, I gotta leave more of my shots. Oh yeah, you'd be noticing that a bit more than I would. I think I lost all my fighters. Which one are you shooting? Is it that one? that's about to die. Oh, he's got a bunch of short range weapons. Going up to the Bowser, dude. <laughs> it's just asked in chat, what is this game? To which no boy replied, another game that Splitzy is going to get us addicted to. <laughs> another space game, that is. Hey, I only get you addicted to the good stuff that I'm already addicted to. Wow, this guy has strong shields. This hardcore marauder. My shields yep. are about to go down. My shields have been down pretty much this whole time. I'm going to boost out for a sec. I'll just let my shields come back up a bit. You know what? I better do that too! Ah! Okay, I'll hang for a little bit longer Ow. so you can get your shields, mate. Right. Oh, my solar panels exploded. Yeah, your solar panels tend to do that. Wow, that last wave really started yeah, hitting hard. Yeah, thing up. Steps, stepped things up. There, 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 there. Thanks, Tensor Time. It's nice to know people are actively looking for stuff on Avorian. Oh, uh, this could be bad. 
I don't think it gets quite enough attention for how good a game it is. Okay, I don't know if I can get past this guy's shields. Yeah, I've, I need to get my shields pretty much fully recharged before I go back in there, I think. Uh, oh, that's another wave that's come in. I'm, I might have to jump out. Okay. You jump out, I'll just hang out here and um, kite them and tank them while I get my shields back and then when you come back in we can Oof. fight. Because I think we've got the... I think we can handle this. We just need a bit more... Prep time. Alright, I need well, that to... That sounds like it might be my dog barking. Uh... Oh, the keyboard, wait! Got one for the W. Um... For the space bar. I'll be back in a sec. Anti Prime Double Anti Fighter Cannon. Oh. Love the keyboard weights. Missing blocks repaired. My shields are and up to half. It's repositioned. Yep, and my shields are coming back slowly. The pirates aren't actually approaching me anymore. Having a boot. How close are you to being able to jump back in? Uh, I'm at about two thirds shields. Alright, I'm about three quarters, I think. They're all just standing off from me at the moment. And the nearest one's 156 k's away. The Spobucha Pirates! Oh, yeah, those fermented guys. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> uh. What? Why won't you make I think me? I might need more mechanics. Yeah, probably. Do? Maybe. I don't know. Anyone know right. why this isn't being made? I'm warping back in. Alright, uh, you're a lot closer than I am. Yep, of course I am. Ow! Get out of there! Holy moly, get out of there! I'm trying. Can you jump? Oh, there's so many more torpedoes! I am moving there as fast as I can, but I only go three kilometers a second. Well, my, sh my shields just disappeared in the as soon as I arrived. Oh, okay. Maybe we're not ready to take on these guys. Yeah, I'm going to die. No! No, 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 no. Oh, I'm out of power. I, I can't jump out for two minutes, and I'm out of power and shields. Oh, no. I don't have any power right now. I can't get there any quicker. Oh 
no. And I forgot to do a death pull today. Well. Farewell, cruel worlds. Goodbye, Ticonderoga. We barely knew thee. Wait, your drone's here? Yeah. Why'd you get out of your drone? Why didn't you re rebuild your ship? Well, because it just ejected me when the ship exploded. Oh. How do I rebuild my ship? Um, see if you can hop in my ship. Because uh. it's an Alliance ship, you should be able to secondarily control stuff. Oh, okay. That guy hits real hard. Okay, yeah, I'm out of here. This is not a good idea. Okay. That was unpleasant. Oh man, this drone thing is real slow. <laughs> yes, I stream it is indeed a disaster. Yep. Come on, power, 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 I need power. Come on, need power for warp. Give me power, give me power, give me power, give me power, give me power. Oh. And how far away is this stuff? Uh, no, no boy, it's the opposite. Because of space being a vacuum, it's very hard to cool down. Because you can only cool down radiatively. Um, there's no conductive heat loss. So it's incredibly hard to cool down. Go. Uh -huh. Did I get a fighter? What the? No. Production of a fighter has started. What do you got? What thing? Well. My drone just got destroyed. <laughs> of course it did. Uh, oh, jeez. Where on earth is my reconstruction site? Uh, I'm not sure. I know not. I'm gonna be on the other side of the known universe. Wow, okay, it's where we started. Of you did you oh did we not move the faction one? What did I have? Did I just move but... my personal one? Um How do I rebuild my ship? Do I need a shipyard? Uh, I can't remember how you use the reach, the rebuild thing. Oof. I feel like when I've been playing a Noiter run for six hours and then I die and I have to restart the game again. <laughs> yeah. Slow. I'm right back at the start. I don't have any of my stuff. Yep.
And did they add this traffic in a recent patch? I don't remember it being here before. Traffic? Yeah, like the little ships that are flying through the systems. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe they've made things a bit more alive. Or maybe it's a graphical thing that's switched off if you don't have it on high settings. Oh yeah, no, that's that's right. It is a graphical thing. I think I think I remember that from the original version. It was a graphical option. I should probably buy some mining fighters. Taking half a day just to cross this system. <laughs> I thought the Ticonderoga was slow. <laughs> um, right. I want to go to... 235 minus 209. Where's that? Five is minus one one two two three seven. That's on the other side of the galaxy. Okay, so that one is the closest. So, Kabak, can you see on? I don't know if it shares it for you. Can you look at the map? Uh, yeah. This is an Exodus location. Uh, where you are now? No, where I pinked. I don't see your ping. Zoom way out. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's possibly where we should maybe head to in the next stream. Because it's going to take me a while to get there. And for you to get rebuilt. Possibly. <laughs> So maybe we can get ourselves a bit rebuilt. We'll get you rebuilt, and um, I can start making my way back there. Uh, uh, repair dock. No. Uh, I don't see a way in the shipyard to get my ship back. Uh, it's so to get your ship your ship back. Go P. Go to inventory. And there should be a Q and D re reconstruction kit, uh, nope. which might in, might be in the Alliance vault actually. Uh, always like yeah, the Ticonderoga. Way down the bottom of the Alliance vault, right hand side. Okay. Have you now got a Ticonderoga? But wreckage not found. Uh. Have we lost the ship? Did you ignore a, a pop up when it came up? Because I normally get a pop-up. Don't see any pop-ups. Oh, used near the wreckage of the destroyed craft. Uh, oh dear. It's on the other side of the galaxy. <laughs> it's also in a really dangerous sector. Um... Home sector or a repair station within 50 sectors. 
So either go to reconstruction site or go back. Uh, where's your home sector, Kapak? Go to your home sector, try it first. What? Try the Q&D thing in your home sector. I presume that's the one where I respawned, which was the sector that I was in. Oh, didn't you hadn't moved to a new sector yet? Well, I'm, I'm sure I set that at some point, but apparently it didn't stick. Um... Wreckage not found. How close do I have to be? I do don't I have know. to be in the system? I should probably stop flying away from where it was. How did you get to that sector? Yeah, you can teleport in your drone. Um, what happens if you right click on me? Can you switch to Citizen Snips? Um. <laughs> Yes? Uh... Well, I'm here. Uh, and are you moving as I move the ship? What? No, I'm here in my drone. Oh. Dang it. Did you teleport yourself or did you switch to controlling? I switched to it and it just spawned me here in my drone. Oh. I thought there was some way that two people could control one ship. was supposed to be a thing. Oh well, I'll just have to start over from scratch. Do you not have the design somewhere? Uh, I don't know, maybe. I don't know how to access it though. Oh, here we go. I've added a seat to my ship. You should now be able to join my ship. Have you joined? Well, it takes time to load things, you know. Sorry! <laughs> here in my drone again. Click on my ship. Where are you? Now are you controlling turrets? Uh... Uh, I'm firing them, but I'm not aiming them. Uh, how do I get you to aim them? There you go, that looks like you're aiming them now. Oh. There you go, you're in control of the guns. Oh. Here we go. Can't aim them down. So... Well. Some of the guns are have auto turrets, so you can just set leave them on auto and just select targets for them. Uh, 
Uh, Kabak, did you move the that item into your personal inventory, or did you just use it from the Alliance one? I tried both. It said you can't use it from the Alliance vault. <sighs> oh. Uh, do you remember where we were? That's that one. Uh, it was one of these three. I see it. I'll try and jump us nearish and then we should try again. Scapac destroys the dastardly asteroids. So how does it feel being gunner? It's a bit weird. Hmm. Uh, the camera's a little wonky. Okay, do you want to try and see if you can get your ship back now? Uh... Yeah, wreckage not found. I guess we have to be in the system. Oh boy. He knows everything. That's right, you got manned gun turrets this time. Does it work? Uh. Uh, apparently. Get out of here. Uh. Just jump. Get away. Select it and enter ship. How do I find it? It's the purple one! Quickly! I'm trying! Have you got it yet? Yep. Jump out of here. Got big holes in it. Jump out of here! Don't care about the holes! Only got one engine. Just get out of here! Okay. Put up with this for another hundred seconds. Hooray! Blitzy comes to the rescue again. Please, try not to toot your own horn too hard. <laughs> Am I wrong though? Look, just let me limp back to civilization in peace. <laughs> oh, that's a spiky spike. Oh, that's all my power. That was a bad move. Boarding stations is hard. <laughs> Gonna pull your shoulder patting yourself on the back so hard. Yep. Mm. Uh, where Someone has to do it. Capac will never say thank you. True. For those parts. Down here. Well, Capac, now that you have your broken ship back, shall we call it a day? Yep, yeah, that's probably reasonable. Uh, I think so. Next time we'll try and do this Operation Exodus thing, I think. Uh, Kapak and I will be back on Monday definitely with some Icarus. I'm going to try and find some time to fit Icarus in somewhere bef between now and then uh, for some solo skill grinding. 
and uh, probably dying to some polar bears. More Survival Impossible tomorrow, and there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. Thanks for coming.